Zoom is a versatile UCAS application giving users the capability to transfer calls, move calls to a different colleague, or even between two end users, place a call on hold or on hold. So in this case, I'm going to reach out to Mark from marketing. So I'm going to start by typing out Mark's name. I can see that Mark is available. He's got the green icon. I'm going to go ahead and click the call. At this point in time, my Zoom phone is reaching out to Mark. Once Mark answers, all of my buttons at the bottom of the screen are going to become active. At this point, if I needed to go grab something from my PC, I could go ahead and click the hold icon. Once I do that, Mark is on hold, listening to all of our wonderful home music that I may have put in our video library. If I go ahead and find what I need to to talk to Mark, um, we can then take him off hold, reconverse uh, at that point in time. Maybe it's decided that since I'm an agent, right, I need to move Mark to a different person. Maybe it's my boss or someone else. Um, in this case, I can go ahead and click the transfer icon. When I do, I have the capability to enter in someone's name or phone number to transfer them to. So if it was my boss, I could have my boss's name. If it was an external party, I could do that as well. So like, let's say my boss is mobile. Uh, in this case, I could type out their mobile number. Once I do that, I have this transfer icon down here at the bottom. Zoom then gives me three options to transfer the phone call. The first option is a warm transfer. So in that case, I'm actually speaking to the person that I'm calling and letting them know, hey, I'm transferring you know, Mark from marketing. Here's what he's talking about or here's what he's calling about. Um, a blind transfer means that I'm actually just dropping Mark on the other end to that person. So in this case, um, it would be ringing out to them and connecting Mark in with whoever I blind transfer to. Transferring it to a voicemail actually puts it in that person's voicemail. So it skipped the entire route of actually going through, right, and dialing that person, letting it ring three times. So it may be helpful if you're in a contact center environment and you know that person's outside their work hours, you could use that. Since I know that this person is traveling today, I'm going to go ahead and click the blind transfer option. At that point in time, I get the notice that says, hey, this transfer was success. That individual, Mark from Marketing, is now reaching out to the phone number that I had listed on the screen, and they're talking to that person, um, concluding their conversation, going from there. If you are interested in additional details, navigate to lumen.com or use the link provided below to learn more about the Lumen Solutions for Zoom.